welcome to a new series of videos in which I'm going to be unboxing things. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I really, really like subscription boxes. They give me a lot of joy. They make me feel like I'm getting a surprise present every month. Um, so I set aside a little bit of my budget to serotonin in the form of um, subscription boxes. So um, I've been, you know, fluctuating with which ones I like the most and some I keep for a really long time and some I drop and then, you know, try again on and off. Um, the one that I'm going to be showing you guys today is new. I have never opened one of these before. This is a Lunarly subscription box. For anyone who hasn't heard of Lunarly, they alternate between sending a plant or a really nice candle, so you don't get a plant every month, which is good because I don't know how many places I have that I can put plants. Uh, but um, other than the plant or candle, uh, in their first, in the first box you get, you're supposed to get a journal to help you do like intention setting type stuff, which is cool. Um, and then other just general like wellness stuff. And it's called Lunarly because the theme of each box has to do with the phase that the moon is about to be entering. So we're going to go ahead and go into the box. I'm really, really excited and I hope that you have fun going through the box with me. Um, I already opened the big box, as you can see. Uh because it seems like a good idea to do that off camera so that I don't scare anyone with my knife. Yeah. So the first thing that's on the very top is this smaller box. I peeked at it when I opened it, but I didn't open it. Like I peeked at the, this on this is outer self when I opened the big box but I haven't opened this yet, so I don't know what's in it, and I'm excited. But the box is really pretty. And it smells nice. It probably smells nice because I think the candle's, like, down in there. But we're gonna open this. It's gonna be fun. I'm using my desk for this purpose. Love to see it. It was packed full. I believe this must be my little journal. It has plastic on it, but I want to look in it and show it to you. So I'm going to skip to when the plastic is gone. Okay, squad, the plastic is now gone. It's a really nice texture. It's like bendy. So, you know, sometimes hardcover is nice, but bendy is cool too. And it's like a... Almost like a smooth, like, f not even fake leather? I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. But it has a little ribbon bookmark. Love to see it. And on the inside... It looks like this in the front. My lighting is so bad, you're not going to see a single word on any of these things. I need to like record at night or something or get better blackout curtains. I don't know, I'll figure something out eventually. Um, and there's some stuff in here about intention setting and why you should do it with the new moon and how to set intentions and how self-care enhances intentions and being inspirational and using lunarly and it looks like there's like a different set of pages for each moon cycle so this is all about exploring what you feel so some starting points to get you thinking about intentions uh, and it's just asking like little prompts about you and then there's more on the page behind it of the same kind of thing. And then pages to write on and 
I don't know, maybe doodle, I guess, or do something else for the new moon, and then a blank page, and then the first quarter moon, and then a blank page, and then the full moon, another blank page, and then the third quarter moon, and then it looks like it starts a new one, new moon, and then blank first quarter, and then blank um, they're not dated or anything, so I guess that makes it very customizable for, like, if you end up skipping a month, you won't have to hate yourself, um, and things like that, which is cool. Yeah, it's very consistent throughout, and I think there's supposed to be, like, intention-setting activities that come in the box that you can do in the notebook, so there's that little notebook. And then at the very top, we have, ta-da! That's a good spot. A card. Arr! Anyway, um, this box is the pink moon box because the pink moon is, I believe, from April 1st to April 23rd, it looks like. Uh, the pink moon is the time to be optimistic and cheery as blooms begin to emerge from the ground. Think forward to the warmer seasons with joyous expectation. And then it says, an intention to inspire. Don't be afraid to hope during this moon. This is your time to be overly positive and bright, willing your own blossoming into existence. So that's just a nice, cute little thing. I like the art. There's like little cherry blossom things and sparkly stars and stuff. It's very pretty. Uh, what are you? Okay, the next thing in here is some kind of little leaflet. Okay, this is the spoilers. So, um, this explains everything that's in here. So, I'm gonna look at that last, uh, because I like to be surprised. So, the first thing I see is... E-S-A-S, -S, inspired by nature, refined by science. Yuffie's running around like a crazy thing. Colonia Mini, rinse-free hand cleanser. Sanitize, moisturize, refresh. Um, I guess this is some kind of hand sanitizer. This is what the packaging looks like. And now I'm going to open it, because I don't have any patience. I'm not going to wait to open this stuff. It would be ridiculous. I want it now. Okay, um, I'm really bad at opening little boxes like these, so I'm not going to say that it's like horribly packaged or something, because I'm pretty sure that it's entirely my fault, um, but I had a very hard time opening this. But it's it's definitely my fault. Wow! It's like a spray! So there's a little cap and it's it's a spray. So I guess you just like spray it on your hand. What's it smell like? Um, it doesn't smell like a lot. Hold on, I'm gonna use it. This is gonna be great. Okay, I was expecting it to come out like, like, like an aerosol or something, and it did not come out like an aerosol. It came out like, not that. Ooh, okay, so it smells a little bit like hand sanitizer, but with like, some kind of citrusy deliciousness mixed in. I actually really like the smell of that. So that's cool. I am a fan. Love to see it. The next thing that I see is W and E Aromatherapy Sleep Balm with Lavender and Shea Butter. It looks like this. 
I'm gonna take off the little outer thing. It says, calm and soothe the senses with our handmade sleep balm with lavender, rosemary, and shea butter made just for unwinding at the end of a stressful day. Apply to pulse points and breathe. So that's um, the neck and wrist spots. So that's where you're supposed to put this then. That seems nice because I end a lot of my work days um, stressed and needing to unwind like this one i'm unwinding by unboxing these boxes i'm so good at words okay so without the outer um uh, cardboard cover thing it looks like this very cool Okay, I'm gonna open it. It's in one of these nice little, just like, metal tins. So I think it's twisty. Yeah, it's a twisty open. Wow, it sure does smell like unwinding after a stressful day. I'll use it. I'll do it. Who's gonna stop me? Am I doing it right? I have no earthly idea, but I'm gonna put this on my pulse points because that's what it told me to do. I don't actually know where the pulse point on my neck is. Is it like there or is it down there? I don't know. I'll just plop it like here for fun. Yeah, you might be able to find my pulse there. Who knows? I get freaked out if I see like veins or a pulse on someone. Um, so I try not to think about pulse points very often, honestly. Maybe that's why I find vampires so fascinating. They don't have pulses. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do a lot of breathing as per the instructions and I will let you guys know if this helps me unwind after my stressful day. like it so far. It smells nice. Okay, next thing in the box is this little baggie. I believe this is going to have a crystal in it. I think there's there is usually a crystal each month in this box. So that's cool because even if I didn't think that they had magical energy connected to them, crystals are still heckin pretty and Wow, I think it's rose quartz. I am 99% sure that this is rose quartz. I have a lot of rose quartz. If you've watched my bad ASMR video uh, that was a subathon reward from a while ago, you will remember my large, like, big, chonky rose quartz. But um, this is the little piece of rose quartz that came in this box. So it is lovely. God, I need a new camera. Um, it's not tumbled, so it's rough. And honestly, I tumbled ones are pretty, but the rough ones just feel so unique and like, I don't know, I like it. So I love this. This might be one of my favorite rose quartzes I have, but I also have like three others that are like this size or smaller. Um, but I don't mind. Rose quartz is good. Rose quartz, if I remember correctly, is all about, like, love and self-love and, like, stuff like that. There's gonna be more information in the little booklet thing once I look at it. I just haven't done it yet. What is this? This is a large box. Box. Okay, here is box. What is in the box? Wow! These are so cool. It's something I like a lot about subscription boxes is that I get things in them that I would never just buy for myself, um, but that I'm incredibly excited to have. So what this is, is one of those felt message boards. You've probably seen them around. Um, this is like felt and then this is like a really nice wooden frame and it's got this little guy on the back so I could hang this. 
um, anywhere that I want to in my whole apartment. And then it comes with all of these felty letters. Including cute, oh, there's little cute, that's like a, there's like a flower and a heart and little smiley faces and a music note and a star and a moon. I'm going to be really excited to play around with that later. And then it also came with um, this little baggie, probably to keep all of the letters and stuff inside. So those are the things that were in the main box. So I'm going to clean this up. So what's left, I think, is the candle, which should be in the bottom of this. Wow. Here it is. I really like, one of my favorite things whenever I've seen pictures of Lunarly, like, I like the plants in theory, but I'm really bad at taking care of plants. So I am worried I'm going to accidentally murder every single plant that gets sent to me with this, but I really, really like the way their candles look. So I've always really wanted to try out, like, their candles and stuff, so I'm super excited for this. Um... What if I made these like ASMR videos? Let me know. Let me know in the comments. If you want me to go all two-sided microphone and like crinkle all the plastic around when I open things in unboxing videos, I'll do it for you. I'll do awkward ASMR video unboxings if you want it if and only if you want it. Wow, this is a really unique smell. It almost smells a little bit beachy, so I wonder, it might have some sandalwood in it, um, but something that I really like about these candles is that the wax is always black, at least like every time I've seen it. Honestly, in this lighting, it looks kind of like a blue black, but that's probably just because I have horrible lighting like really bad um and then the jar that it's in I also really like because like after it's totally burnt out and stuff like look it's purple and blue it's my favorite colors you know and you could like use it you could put pens in it you could you could put a plant in it there are so many different ways I could see myself reusing this after it's empty and I love candles I'm gonna smell this candle so much i really like that smell let's find out all of the details now that we've gotten me going through it for funsies so it's the pink moon box okay inside our little booklet we have information about all of the things we got so um <laughs> sorry <laughs> i'm fine um, the Willow and Edge Sleep Balm is the one that I put on my wrists and my neck, uh, potentially pulse points, I don't know. It's my neck. Uh, and it says, breathe deeply and relax at the end of your day with the Willow and Edge Sleep Balm. Made from lavender, shea butter, and rosemary, this luxurious product is a perfect way to complete your nightly routine. Instructions. Rub balm into wrists, behind ears, and at temples before snuggling into bed. So I got some of those right. I got wrists, and I didn't go, like, behind my ears, but I did go, like, here. So I was close. My instincts were close. I did not do my temples. Then we have the hand sanitizer. So it's officially called Colonia Mini Hand Sanitizer. 
make even the act of sanitizing feel like a day at the spa with the Colonia Mini Hand Sanitizer. This delightfully scented, travel-friendly spritz holds numerous aromatherapy benefits, meaning you'll be relaxed and ready to take on whatever is next. And also, your hands will be clean so you won't get COVID. That wasn't in there. That was a Christina edition. Instructions. Spritz your hands before eating on the go, or just whenever you feel like you need a cleanliness boost. Enjoy the rich scents and hydrating properties, and remember to breathe. Honestly, it did smell really good. Like, right when I used it, it smelled really strongly of, like, a typical hand sanitizer smell, but, like, two seconds later, it just changed into, like, just goodness and joy. Rose Quartz, I was correct, uh, known for its powers of love, beauty, and compassion. Rose Quartz is an especially dynamic stone. While typically tied to romantic love, you'll find the energies of this translucent gem spilling into all aspects of your personal relationships. Rose Quartz is most potent when worn on your person close to your heart. Place it in your pocket whenever you need to move love and beauty into first place in your life. And then the last thing in the main box was the felt letter board. Harken back to simpler days with this playful felt letter board. Bask in the gentle feeling of soft of these soft letters, letting their energy flow into whatever you spell out for yourself or your loved ones. Use this letter board to acknowledge and plan for the good. Add favorite quotes, song lyrics, or reminders to treat yourself sweetly during this moon. And then on the very back, we have information about the candle, and it's called Blossoming Joy Pink Moon Candle. It has lichen, hyacinth, and musk. I think the musk part of it is what I was associating with a beachy smell. That seems likely. And then the description says... Indulge with the subtle floral and powdery aroma of hyacinth, undercut perfectly by the earthy aromas of lichen and musk. This sweet scent invites you to lean into your own bliss, letting you spread joy and peace to all around you. It has a meditation tip, too. It says I should com contemplate feelings of gratitude, optimism, and sweetness as I remember the rebirth that happens in nature during the pink moon. April showers bring May flowers, so I believe that. Picture yourself as a spring flower emerging from a cold winter hibernation into the sun. You're fresh and ready for a new season of life. I like that. That's nice. I'm gonna light this candle. Candle. Now it will give me a nice aroma and a cozy space. Mm -hmm. This was very fun. I really enjoyed so far the stuff that I got from this box and I hope it makes the next month of my life feel all cozy and wellnessy. We'll see. Um, I'm definitely gonna get the next one because I think the next one is supposed to have a plant and I want to show you guys a plant on camera. It just, it just sounds fun and exciting, you know? So we're gonna do it. I'm gonna show you a plant on camera and, uh, yeah, this has been a delight. Um, I will have another unboxing for you guys relatively soon. It will be my fairy loot box, so you can look forward to that. And I do have a lot of other video plans lined up. They're just taking some time because they take a lot more planning. And I don't have a whole lot of free time right now because of work and stuff. Um, but later, there's going to be more videos. Also, um, for anyone who's not aware, I do stream on Twitch on Saturdays and Mondays and Wednesdays. Saturdays are typically cozy streams. I've been playing a lot of Cozy Grove. Um, 
sometimes Animal Crossing, other cozy stuff in general. Mondays are going to be what I call Miserable Mondays because any game that has near in the title is just bound to be full of misery. So we're going to be working on near replicant and it's cool and fun we played it for a while and then i stopped because my computer low key broke but my computer's fine now so we're getting back into it and then wednesdays every other wednesday will be nostalgia wednesday and right now we're replaying the kingdom hearts series uh in honor of this being the 20th anniversary year and the 20th anniversary day was quite recently so yay kingdom hearts so if you would like to come hang out with me during stream i would love to chat with you and you can find links down in the description below you can also find a link there to my card where you can find um, information about my social media presence and you can find a link to my coffee. I have memberships on coffee that have a lot of cool perks, including some extra YouTube stuff in particular, some extra videos, early access to some other videos, um, being able to vote on polls for videos and things like that, among other things. So if you are interested in that, feel free to check out the coffee link. Uh, I'm really excited about what I have planned for all of those memberships, so I'm happy to share. Thank you guys if you stuck around all the way through all of those words and hung out and stuff uh, for watching. You should consider, consider uh, subscribing. Subscribing on YouTube is like the easiest thing ever, so if you just click it, that would be really cool. And if you really like me, you can click on a little bell for notifications for my videos that will happen on occasion, not on a specific schedule because I mostly just focus on Twitch, but I wanna make more videos. I'm rambling because I don't know how to end a video. So I'm just gonna like turn off the recording. Uh, yeah, peace out, farewell. See you in the next video. Hee hoo.